We must move around to the right, sir, and take them from the rear. The movie Gettysburg put forward the idea that Confederate General Hood wanted to move around the Round Top Hills to win the Battle of Gettysburg. Vance, we are going to use a war game to explore that question. In our previous video, we had the Union and Confederate teams conduct a live action war game at the Gettysburg National Military Park to determine how the Confederates could have moved General Hood's division into position. Matt and Carl, playing the Confederates, had to use an 1858 map and stick to historic roads while making their moves. Meanwhile, the Union players had to decipher signal messages to try and determine what the Confederates were up to and how to respond accordingly. Matt and Carl chose a route which took them on a 12-mile flank march. Although they were spotted by the Union signal station on Little Round Top, they arrived in position to attack the Union flank at 6 p.m. They have about three hours of daylight to launch their attack. Will it be enough time? Meanwhile, the signal messages that the Union players received gave a mixed picture of the Confederate movements. They responded by detaching parts of their reserve, the Fifth Corps, to different parts of the field. One lone brigade occupies Little Round Top. Can they hold? Let's play it out on our tabletop war game in part two of Hood Moves Around to the Right. Carl, Matt, and Ben will be playing the Confederate Army, while Alex, CB, and Austin will command the Union. The game will last for five turns. To win, the Confederates need to occupy two victory stars. We will be using an American Civil War version of the popular Age of Hannibal rules. You can download our conversion rules and charts for free on the FireballForward.com website. The Union Army starts with the 3rd Corps on the right flank, 2nd Corps holding the middle, and the 12th, 11th, and 1st Corps holding Cemetery and Culp's Hill. The 5th Corps is in reserve, with one brigade backing up Cemetery Hill and another lone brigade holding Little Round Top. The Confederate Army has 2nd Corps opposite Cemetery Hill, 3rd Corps opposite the middle, and 1st Corps made up of Hood's and McClaw's division on the right flank, with Hood poised to launch his flank attack. One key to this game is to break the enemy's morale. Each Corps has a value. When that value reaches zero, the Corps breaks and was removed from the game. Each Union Corps starts with a morale of three. The Confederates start with a morale of four for first corps, and they had to choose one point to go to either second corps or third. Each turn they can add a point to either second or third corps, and they each get to roll a dice to see if they get an extra morale. The trick is once second or third corps launch their attack, they can no longer get more morale. So they either wait to gain more morale to have a stronger attack, but then they lose valuable time as it's already late in the day. How will the Confederates coordinate their assault? Let's get to it. Hey, today I have a special guest in the game room from Waltham, Massachusetts, Tom Ballou. Thank you. Hey, we're gonna do commentary on this crazy hood goes around to the right game. Get him, Hood. Yeah. All right, your time to shine. Hood's division is going to move forward at best possible speed. Alex, if you could move me forward eight inches there, that would be. Just straight ahead. All right, he's moving out, Tom. Yeah. No time yeah. like the present. Sliding along. He made that bet at the start. Those he guys had to go. Time was <laughs> going to be the thing. This guy's marching pretty well. Do you want to move the first right. court forward? No, if we move. Uh, oh, your first court. Yeah. Yeah, that's you the should. other half of you. 
Oh. <laughs> Are you saying I have some responsibilities? <laughs> That's right. For the first turn, we'll <laughs> Okay. Let's bring them up on the hill here. That means if we All right, here goes my claws. Yeah, I feel like I usually get the blame, but <laughs> this, this is Hood's plan. Yeah. All right. All right, Confederates are done moving. No. All right, uh, Union turn. That was fast. Oh, there they are, fifth corps. Now they've been split so apart a bit. So There's only four out of six brigades there. Right, because they've been they've dispersed their forces trying to guess right. which way the Confederates are moving. Guys, right. lucky you have those back there with Hood uh, getting around your rear. Yeah, somebody slipped up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's the <name? laughs> Okay, so to start the game, right, uh, Confederate Fourth Corps has full morale, Second Corps, Hills has nothing, but all the Union Corps start at three. They're good to go. Yep. So what do we see here at uh, the beginning of turn one, right? Hood and Union Fifth Corps in a collision course. Yep. And the McClaws is coming to attack Sickles, who's not at the Peach Orchard. He's kind of back at the main Yeah, line. so he's, he's got a much better position than he did historically. Yeah, but he's not being hit in the flank. True. Right? That's the thing. Hood By Hood moving around, he's not hitting Third Corps in the flank. So it's much more of a straight-on fight for McClaws. So on turn two, two, we are both rolling. Rolling for Confederate organization. Oh, on a six, I failed. That oh. would have for you. But I get oh, no. four. <laughs> Not very organized <laughs> today. <laughs> We're getting all right to get we But do, we do a sign off lead. We do get one for free. So, so are we giving that to Hill? Uh, I think so. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hill's a two. They are kind of soft, aren't they? That's not your movement. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, why don't you go first? I think Let's I will go. call you. All right. Oh, good, good. So we are going to call okay. the AIM. Launch the attack after all. Right. That was a lot better than that. Oh, all right. 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 Third Corps is launching with only two guys. morale. That's pretty, pretty sketchy. That's interesting. I, I thought they were going to hold off and get a little stronger before they launched this. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. Because now that's it. They're oh, locked. That, well, that's that's uh, McClaws. He's right. still advancing on. Well, he has to. On on Sickles, yeah, right. for the epic show. Because it's the only way this is going to work is he's got to pin the Union down. line. Right. It's yeah. your choice. <laughs> We're willing to accept your surrender at any time. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to hold my heart. Are you talking about surrender? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then those guys uh, are going to advance eight. Forward, but um, out to right, hood. those guys. Go to the hood the up the Tain Town Road. It's funny how <laughs> that works. <laughs> so it turns out Hill is They're actually going to attack. That's right. Hill what? is in. Launch the attack. <laughs> All right. So this entire. I've Two movement, so this entire line is going to advance. And we're going to go. There it is, Hill's third corps advancing with only two morale. Yeah, I I think they pre-committed because it's they needed to let the Union sort of like commit to what they were going to do and then throw at we're them. But now they're going to. We're so excited to come join you, and this line will advance. Yeah, they're I mean, getting uh, weak. They're it's almost ahead. like this right where he just moved. I mean, that's the historical area of part of Pickett's Charge. So right, it's like, <laughs> so he's almost launching Pickett's Charge a day early. <laughs> Absolutely correct. All right, do your worst. All right, so now we move movement. That's you. All right, Union oh, movement. Yeah, that's me. Well, oh, fifth core coming to get you. All right, so is fifth core just going to charge right in? Oh yeah, mono a mono. <laughs> okay. Get him. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's the vision. Toe to toe. Right, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow. So I'm attacking with this brigade. They're a plus one in combat. Then they have two supports. So that's another plus one, another plus one. So all together, it's a six. Okay. All right. So here comes my. All right. <laughs> One. one. I got a one. <laughs> All I got to do is beat a one. Six. So that brings me to a total of 12, which isn't enough to double you, but it is enough oh. to deal a hit. So. All right. Hood's All right. boys coming in strong. All right. So now we can now we attack here. Yep. Four. I got a nine. Okay. All right. Not so good. So got nine. Well. It could be done. Uh, that would give me a ten. Oh, oh 
Ooh, close. One. All right, well, at the end of that turn, third core has marched off with two morale. First core up near the hills has gained one. And first core is still holding strong with four. Yeah, I mean, they got out of, they got out of that cheap. Yep, and Union, they're, well, fifth core took a beating, so their morale is starting yeah. to slip. Yeah, losing two. That did help. So, look, where are we? The, um, Hood and fifth core are battling in the back, and fifth core is starting to get the worst of it. Yeah, yeah, and it could, you know, well... I mean, it was an exceptionally bad roll on that one yeah. flank, so... It's still up in the air. Yeah. McClaws is still pinning Sickles, and the big news, right, is third core under Hill has moved out in what looks like Pickett's charge a day early. Yeah, and that's going to be ugly. First, we need to roll for well, that's right. better at organization. Organization, here I go. I am organizing not no. well with a tree. <laughs> no. You do get a free lead point. I do get a free lead point. Lee is helping organize, and he's doing better than uh, you will can. <laughs> These both are going to shoot at the center infantry. Ooh, yeah. Pickett's charge, right? <laughs> uh, no. I don't know how that's going to play out. I think we should yeah, keep pushing forward. So yeah, I absolutely. think we're going to be able to make contact. All right, so this... Now. Yeah, we're within six. Yeah, yeah but look, he's yeah. in a like strong Carl, position. Right? Here they come, boys. Yeah. Get them. Now these guys actually... Nice. Yeah. He's battling with Sickle's core. They just slightly back. Uh, then this artillery here will deploy, and that's it for me. The unit will advance six inches. Ooh. With a rebel yell. Is that your rebel yell? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then for my second point, this column line, rather, will advance and will oblique slightly right. Oh, that's it. There it is. Boys. Do they get past the angle? Oh, that oh. cops the trees. Oh. Oh, man. They All are. right. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> I have Ooh. a uh, five. Oh, in total. In total. Yes. <laughs> I have yeah. a 13 in total. Oh, ah, double. I've been there doubled. If you double, oh. you destroy them. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. All right. Wow. All right, middle. As a seven. Come on, one. Uh, eight. And I told you we had to do more. Oh, 13. 13. Oh. So I'm not double. Oh. Oh. Did you take a hit? <laughs> Oh man, oh, man. they're going to murdered. Here we go, next guy. Get, Come on, someone's got to win. Oh, okay. So I have a four. Okay. Uh, seven plus six, 13. I'm removed. <laughs> Which color was the guy? Seems unlucky uh, for the Confederates. Mowing us down. <laughs> oh, slaughtered. <laughs> Do better than me? Yeah, we'll, uh, have, we'll go over here. Please? Uh, so I'm going to be see if a Hood can plus okay. six. Turn the tide. So I end up with, oh, Ooh, I end up with a 14. <laughs> All right. It's not, but it's not a double. Not double, but he's getting beat up, right? Yeah. So it probably means fifth core's morale's going to drop. Look at him run, boys. <laughs> Great. Texans on, always move them. Hey. Stalled in the front, but doing oh, well on the flanks. Only Hood's division is doing well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can say that twice. Hood's plan is very good for Hood. Yes. <laughs> It'll be mentioned in dispatch. I do think we're going to have some morale points. Okay, here we go with morale. Third core down to one. And second core, is, they're getting a little better, though. Yeah. And on the Union side, fifth core down to one. Fifth, fifth core is core's getting going to go. pounded by Hood. Oh, yeah. And long. there's no one to support him when Hood breaks free. Yeah. So, really, Union uh, Confederate first core is totally engaged. And fifth core is teetering in the back. Yeah. But... Hill, Pickett, Pickett Hill's Jr. Pick, Pickett's charge is basically toast. Yeah. But now that it's toast, don't worry, because the Confederate Second Corps is now getting ready to start. True. So and they've been, and been stacking up morale, and now they're going to be able to press. Uh, Carl talked about you need to coordinate, right, in the previous video, but they didn't do it here. Just so he can face Yule again and maybe soften up some of those guys. Oh, oh they're, counter, they're counterattacking with they? what's left of them. Huh. Not much choice on that. All right, let's see. again. They could run. But their morale is super fragile. They can go bye-bye. They could. All right. Well. There we go. Swing like the door. Uh, six. Nine. Ooh. Uh, oh, Eleven. Ooh. 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 Hood is just not to be so denied. Yeah. Ooh. We're planning. The fortunes of war are on our side here. <laughs> I think we have one more combat on this side. 
This is the oh, end. Yeah. Oh, the, the, end yeah. the, <laughs> the poor guys yeah. left out there. Yeah, Where's all our buddies? <laughs> you really actually got to hang in here. Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's a nine. And that's an eight plus three is 11. Mm. So they're uh, at two. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> so good. close. Okay, right. so at the end of that turn, yes, that is true. Third core, core is, is bye -bye. broken. It breaks. And second core is getting, has two. Did they gain another point from the previous round? Oh, no, they committed. That's yeah, right. They're done. Second core is. And hey, look at first core. They're, they're good. Yeah, and, but, but fifth core fifth survived. Core, no. Mm. I think they, did they? Yeah, they still got one. Oh, right. They did survive. But they're All right. super fragile. So, what is the union going to do now? We have third core broken. Yeah, they're, toast. they're gone. There's a stalemate uh, kind of with third core and still fighting in the back, but f I think fifth core is. That's a bit of a gap, sorry. <laughs> no, they retired retire to their position. They're oh, yes, yes. Oh, the attack is over. Attack is over. <laughs> all, right. all right. It's all up to hood now. So uh, let's start with uh, our organizing organizing yeah. check. Well, no, you have not. We've never passed one. <laughs> no, it has not, not helped us. Yeah. <laughs> we really could have used you pass one. Right? Oh, several, yeah. <laughs> All right. You will organize mm. A one? Is a one good? Mm. <laughs> mm. Someone's got to do their paperwork That's better. It's clear your organization <laughs> skills are not there for it. I'm finally going to march forward. Move these up into contact there. Wow. They'll be in the central unit. There you go. Oh, the second right. floor up Cemetery there Hill. Go. And then this one's come behind the yep. center? Yep. Okay. We're going to try and break through on top of that hill oh, against that infantry unit. That's our only hope. Oh, so that that doesn't open. look good. That does not look good. No. Oh, that Ooh. looks bad. Let's assault the hill. Plus four is a yeah. seven. Okay. Uh, plus eight plus seven. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. So, so that's deadly? Yeah, it's a really um, good That assault is deadly. Yeah. It turns out my men can die when they go. Crazy, right? <laughs> like, no, actually, oh, does he die? Yeah. Yeah. Did you die in the game? You die in real life? I hope not. <laughs> I wish we'd discussed this before. <laughs> Hood's attack's doing great, but they're getting the army's getting annihilated everywhere. Now we got it. Now we got it, boy. Keep telling yourself that, plus Ben. Six. You have five, oh, six, seven. Five. Six big rolls. Ooh, Ooh. seven plus six. Thirteen. All right. Beat that. Uh, four plus seven. That's eleven. Whoa. Yes! Oh. It hits. And then what color? They finally won green. one. Yes, they, they got green. a little toehold there up against the breastworks. Right. Yeah, but... All right, I'm all the four here. And oh. Five. Oh, no. Beat that, Beat yeah. That. Three, four, five. He, he, he's seven. with modifiers, he's a seven. <laughs> uh, four plus seven, 11. Right? So <laughs> we're going to rely on the heroes to carry the day here. They're all dead. Oh, color is that? Is it blue? Oh, it's the blue. Yeah, it's also blue. It's also blue. That's two blue chips. That's okay. your trouble. Okay, so let's ship the action over here. Yeah, this. Core. Uh, first core. Yes, uh, we'll, we'll start yeah. with Hood's. Come on, Hood. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go there. They've been... Ooh, All right, that's a 14. Number. Yeah, Alex is not looking <laughs> happy here. <laughs> wow, crazy. That is an eight. Well, okay. okay. So you that, but he didn't get he didn't get oh, blasted. That's no, but that might be that might do him in. Go crying back to Lincoln. <laughs> okay. And no, uh, I think we're gonna go to the roof. So what happens here is uh, third right. core is third broken. Core is still broken. First core goes down for they're getting smashed slapped. on the hill, so yep. they're taking a beating. But first core first core is rock in here. Yeah. But will it be enough? And on the union side. Fifth core is broken. Yeah, That's it. No. So Hood smashes fifth core in the rear. Right. But. So, and what turn is it, though? I mean, it's turn it's four. Four. Yeah. Five, I mean. Five turn game. But they've cost, they've cost the Confederate Army all their forces. Over the they didn't right. break through fast right. enough. And we'll see, so we'll see what happens here, right? Because yeah. Hood, he's kind of got a clear road all the way to Washington. But it's late. There's right. Only he's got turn. one turn? Yeah. So, I'm not sure what else we can. What can, can he, do. what can he do? Can he, can he swing? Well, I mean, they uh, they kind of have a little round top. He'd have to go right. up and try to take Cemetery Hill. Maybe I don't know. That's I mean, a, Cemetery Hill. There's a lot of your, your troops waiting for him up yeah, there because no one's pinning okay, them. So now, right. Uh, your artillery. They can all, all right. turn to face him. Oh boy. Well, 
All right. One last uh, barrage. This battery of artillery will fire at this these troops there. We need eights. We got one Ooh. hit. Oh, no. One eight. All right, some artillery. All right, and this will shoot that Union artillery. Might be too little too late. Eight and gets it. Hit. Finally. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. I can't complain about that. All right. So now it's our movement. Okay, now Any let's see what you end? I'm holding hold, strong. Hold. I, this is your core? Yes. So, I think they yes. need to yes. turn, <laughs> turn around, right? Hold on. Ah, there you, there go. you go. There you go. The lack of pinning, <laughs> second core. Okay. I, yeah, they blew their timing. They came too early. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, historically, parts of Second Corps did march down towards the wheat field to stop Hood. So this is not out of uh, bounds. And considering that they've just seen Confederate Third Corps kind of return back to uh, Seminary Ridge, having these three brigades face off against Hood makes perfect sense. Yep. Yeah. So Hood smashed Fifth Corps, but there's plenty more Union. They're going to have to hold out for a turn. Right. No, I'm sure there's there. some people who are watching. They're like, but there's there six the core. Why isn't six core on the table? Hey, here it now, comes. Here comes the <laughs> six core. What? Wait, two. more? Yes. They have more troops? <laughs> yes. yeah, oh, whole, those guys. Oh, yeah, the ones that were sitting back here. behind the hill. Right. Oh, yeah, those dudes. Yeah. Yeah. So they historically, they probably should have come in maybe a turn earlier, but just to give the Confederates a... More, more of a more fighting chance. chance. Yeah, right. but so now Luther? There's just no way now. All right, right. so uh, Alec, Hood's division is going to try and slam into the back of these guys, I think. Is probably Can he? Best. Yeah, I think oh. that makes sense. So he's trying to help out uh, McLaughlin. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. We're going to go to Mexico. Okay. We're going to go to Mexico. <laughs> We're going to go to Mexico. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, move move him up to protect the flanks of the uh, of the guys that just. Yes, exactly. Him. Now he, now he's got a problem is that he's putting right. himself into a into a box here because the unions. Right. Well, if he can blow through. So I mean, they, cool. you know, they t if they can smash third core, which it's going to be hard in a half hour, but. So let's try these guys up here. Well, it takes some super hot dice. Yeah. Uh, that is twelve. Nine. Okay, so we'll deal a hit. Oh, that's right. they're taking but this is their last. It's getting dark. They are they going to yeah. be able to do this? I... No. Okay, and then we'll do Benz. Okay, move it over here. <laughs> hey, if they win, they kick them off the helmet. Oh yeah. wow, yeah, it could be a big okay. deal. Yeah, don't don't count them out. Don't count out you. So their last hope is to take Cemetery Hill on this die roll. Six. All right. Boom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Eleven. Oh, I tell you. Did it. not quite double me. I'm uh, still in this fight. I got super, yeah. super hot dice. This will happen. So now we uh, This is uh, it. So this is the end. So uh, Confederate Second Corps also breaks. Right. So really, you got nothing left but Hood. What's and going on with the Union here, though? So Fifth Corps broken, and uh, Third, Third Corps, Corps goes to two. two. So they're they're actually strong enough to survive. So the, yeah, there's to, to he, the couldn't, night, he couldn't he couldn't sure. smash them quick enough to 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 take advantage of it. No, I mean if anything, it's like it sets you up for day three, right? Like what happens in day three? But with six core arriving, right? Uh, with and with that attack failure, that's the end of turn five, and that's the oh. end of the game. We we failed to take the objectives. Well done, Union players. Well done. Great job. Absolutely. We held on. Even though we snuck around you on the actual field yeah. battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming. Well, there you have it. The conclusion to our two-part Gettysburg if Hood moved around to the right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a pretty exciting conclusion, even though oh, the yeah. <laughs> Confederates didn't quite do it. <laughs> um, but it was a really interesting exercise to use a war game to not really answer definitively the question, but to figure out what had to go into moving Hood around to the right, right? He couldn't just pick up and magically transport them. Right, yeah. That, the, all those decision points he made right. before he got... Because, you know, the, once he got to the game, it was pretty straightforward. Just run forward and crush. Right. But the whole decision, like, do I take this road? Right. And his delaying 
you know, did that cost them the game? Because they, they only didn't had five have a, turns. only had five turns. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I really found that an intriguing method of setting up a game to use uh, um, to put them in the decision making tree prior to the game, right. as opposed to just presenting them in the app and saying, "Okay, go to it." Cool. Yeah, it's kind of like trying to make the game more three dimensional in a crazy <laughs> way. So we hope you really enjoyed it. We had a ton of fun making it. We want to thank all our players, whether they won or lost. I think everyone had a great time. <laughs> I don't think Alex had a great time. No, <laughs> he didn't so well. And we want to thank Eric Lindblade from the Battle of Gettysburg podcast for being such a great game master and helping us figure out what were the historic roads, what were the things Hood had to think about, which really kind of helped me understand a little more. And, you know, the, bat, the game could have kind of gone either way. But today, the union was going to hold, you know. Six score was not to be denied again. No. So thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more. We're going to try to do all kinds of crazy things as we go on. But uh, we'll see you next time. And like and subscribe and become part of the MGR Army. Thanks.